Hey you, it's heavy. All right, do not pay any attention to how scary I look. I know, I didn't even touch the hair at all today. <laughs> but that's not what's important. Okay, so I finally figured it out. Some of you wanted to know exactly how to get some real results from your 23andMe or whatever DNA kit, the health results, because I wasn't very happy with mine. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, just hear me out. I really like 23andMe, but the health results part of it, I don't feel was worth an extra $100. I just wanna show others how I did it. I'm not saying that I know exactly what I'm doing, but this is what I did. It seemed to make so much more sense to me than what 23andMe did. If you haven't seen my video, check it out. A link will be somewhere around here. You can watch that first if you're a little confused. Otherwise, I feel that 23andMe was a big fail on my part. Uh, the health part of it, anyways. The ancestry and stuff was very fun, but like I said, it just wasn't worth the extra hundred bucks. And there's other sites that will go through your genes and for free, and some will be like five bucks. And on 23andMe, all health reports. Now, when you scroll down, you'll see 23andMe, they go under the genetic health risks. Just important for you to see this. Alzheimer's disease, they test, I believe it was 32 celiac disease. Now it's important to see some of these, okay? Because I will show you what I found in my other stuff. So it's important that you remember that. The other one I've gone through says otherwise. So if you click on one, Evelyn, you do not have the E4 variant we tested zero variants detected. Now it's really cute how they set this all up with 23andMe. Don't get me wrong, I think a lot of the good information on here is great, but it's so general. It's very generalized and I don't like that part of it and therefore I don't feel it's worth an extra hundred dollars. You click download Click the link below to submit a request to download your raw data file. When it's ready, we'll send you a message in the email address linked to your account. You can also check this page for your status request. It's been like 10-15 minutes and I already got the email. So, there in me, it says your 23andMe raw data download is ready. So download raw data. data. Alright, download. Your raw data sh download should start automatically, it says. Ooh, here it comes. There it is. Our code gene. Start exploring. Now, even if you just went straight here, and depending on whatever kit you took, 23andMe, you can just click right here, download page. It'll bring you right there to what I just showed you. Okay, now we go to browse and we are gonna click on that new one we just got. The text, open, start exploring. This is my results, okay? But it'll pop up looking like this and right here, search for diseases, drugs, genes, NSPs, and SNPs. If you wanna look up vitamins, look up certain meds. They're not gonna have like all the answers, but if you read carefully, you'll find quite a bit. Okay, I was finding this right here. See the red? Okay, red is obviously bad, and there's good, and there's warnings. Now this one, this is the one I was telling you about in the other video. Well, I will be printing out and showing to my doctor. But they have different levels, and you just click away. Oops. You just want to click on everything, read about it, they show more, read about it. If there's something you're not sure about, you can highlight it, click it. Well, this you probably don't have that. You right click it, copy and paste it into Google, check it out, read up on it. Other stuff, see, like this is a gene. You click on it and read about it here. It'll tell you certain things. They even have comments where other people have commented. If you go up here, dashboard, I just found this playing around with it. Your top 10 risk scores versus the general population. I would be the red line versus other people that have done this, which are the boxes. So here's other people and here's my risks. 
and these are the genes, okay? I know very confusing stuff, you guys, especially for someone like me. <laughs> so if I can get some of this, you can get it too. All right, right here is my top genotypes. Negative associations, Crohn's, schizophrenia, schizophrenia, central nervous system cancer, which there is bipolar in the family, but I don't think there's any schizophrenia. Prostate, don't have to worry about that one. Um, this is the one I told you about with the heart populations, type 2 diabetes, MS. I believe this is cancer, body height, I'm not sure, but you, as you can see, you can click on these stuff. Vitamins and nutrients before taking any supplements, of course, consult your doctor, it says. These are ones I need to look into getting, which I am already taking some of these. Fitness, athletic abilities based on your genome. See where the green would be good. Take your time, read into it, check it out. Try not to take things way too seriously, but at the same time, it's, it's good for you to know. I will have links down in the description bar. My main channel here is all based around like chronic illnesses and stuff so that's something you might be interested in and I'd love for you to subscribe join our Spoonie fam I hope you find this helpful I hope you're doing all right if not hang in there and I love you and I will talk to you soon let me know what you what your thoughts are let me know what you think comment below let me know how you are doing and talk to me you know I love talking all right you guys I'll see you later if you want to see some crazy and also lazy then you should meet me and my friends even though we got no money for sure it's so funny yeah everything's better with them we're just like ooh.